Uh, hoi toy, welcome to Transfixed, the channel with universal healthcare. And I do mean universal. So tonight we're going to do another Hot Soldiers toy. We are going to look at the medical officer, which of course is Ratchet, but he's just called Ambulance here. He's the same as the uh, Ironhide that I showed earlier. And they come with the same accessories, with some small exceptions. So they both have these. They both have the, the roof that turns into this weapon sled thing. And... I had to take out the light bar, of course. That was really stuck in there. I wasn't sure if it was glued or not, but it's not. Um, let's see. And to remember, he comes with his own unpainted light bar for no reason. And we can show he's got the same accessories in there. Yeah, so there's various ways to plug these things in here. Um, that's just the standard configuration, I guess. Oh, this is supposed to sit in the back here. Oh, this is, you can see now what I was talking about before. This is the default way it comes, but this one here, I think it was misassembled because I detached this and turned it around, but with this one, it's already facing that way. So I think my iron tin one was misassembled. Anyway, let's do a uh, transformation. So we'll take them back into um, truck mode first. This locks in there. You can swivel it around. The head has got little tabs here that can go down. There's a double hinge here. You need to kind of compress this. These front wheels come down, compress, oh actually before we do that we should pull the, pull the legs down, the shins, tuck the toe up underneath. This uh, peg and hole is quite tight, so I can never get it to connect completely, but that's how it should go. And you can see these uh, pegs in the legs here that go into the, uh, the ball, the socket for the ball joint, which is interesting. Oh, my wheel came back up. I'm not doing the best job of this, so I apologize. But... Okay, I'm going to take this stuff apart here. Actually, this one can stay in. It goes in between the, uh, the arms. Take all this stuff out. Lots of parts. Put our uh, light bar back on, of course, so that he is an ambulance. And then this just goes on top. These clips here go into the holes in his forearms. So just a matter of lining it up because of my careless transformation. There we go. Okay. And like I mentioned in another video, having a little Autobot logo on the front makes all the difference because it really breaks up this wide looking plain uh, front. Now there's a bit of paint overspray on mine around the uh, headlights. Uh, not a big deal, but it's something to be aware of, I suppose. Let's clip this back into place. So there they are side by side. They're uh, quite fun. They actually remind me of uh, like Matchbox cars. A little larger, I think, than your standard Matchbox car, but but they're fun. And of course, you can put this on the roof if you want to. I suppose you can put anything on the roof, really. Now, I mentioned extras. So, Medic comes with this uh, 
manual card and he comes with two extra accessories here. It comes with uh, this like a welder type of uh, pistol and he comes with a wrench which I think is quite appropriate. He also came with a couple of Energon cubes. I suppose technically aren't Energon cubes but Energon rectangular prisms. So now we'll transform him back into his robot mode. I just like to unpeg everything to start with. Then you can stretch these legs out. Swing these up. Get the toe out. I think it's always easier to transform into robot mode. See the clips. That clips in there. Oops. I always forget the toe. I have to take that off. Out. These double hinges, you got to make sure you swing them all the way out. If you just try to do that, it might you could risk bending something. These are quite tight. This also takes a bit of doing to get that little spur past. Uh, last time I took his head off doing this. Yeah, this time I managed to do it. I suppose in time that will uh, loosen up. This part's on a bit of a hinge, but you can see this is what's supposed to um, clip on when it rotates around. There we go. Oh, I gotta get the wheels up at first. Now it can spin around. So you can see how that assembly works. This clips up and locks into place. This just gets up out of the way. Pretty clean. Pretty nice. It's amazing, you know, how long it took to get figures that do this, considering the old G1 Ratchet and Ironhide. I mean, they weren't really designed to be this once the cartoon developed this look. It uh, still took a long time for us to get a figure like this though. So I'll do this one while we're at it. Let's do those toes before I forget. All of these joints and hinges are very tight. Oops. Oh gosh. Okay, this is just tabbed on. It uh, it looks like that did. Um, it didn't break permanently. It just came loose. But I don't like how that looks. That's. Uh, I have to be careful with that. It's you can see it's rubbed the little pegs down after that after that unfortunate little incident good thing ratchets here nearby you can fix you right up iron hot so you can get back to busting deceptive chops all right so let's give him a pistol and there we have them side by side let's give ratchet his new accessories i mean ambulance I think that really helps out with the characterization. There we are. Nice. Now, if you're collecting this scale, um, you may be interested in this company called Magic Square that I just found putting up a ton of pre-orders. They're doing a lot of figures in this scale, uh, the G1 characters. They're doing a grapple. They're doing all the Stunticons, which I just saw go up today, um, and some other ones as well. Now, I don't know the size of those because I haven't seen this company make anything before, but I think they're going to be roughly in scale with this uh, Hot Soldiers line or with the other, um, uh, maybe the DX9 toys. I'm not too sure. Uh, but look for those coming out. I should be getting... Mm, I don't know. I'll probably get the Stunticons. We'll see how they look in combined mode, but yeah, I don't think I can resist that. Anyhow, that's uh, Iron Tin and um, Ambulance for tonight. So, as always, thanks for watching, and thanks for watching.